Jazzy? Yes, Cass? Do you ever have a story that you're so ashamed of you don't even want to tell the girls? Sometimes. Do you? I mean, I want to talk about this one time. What happened, Kate? You look so sad today. Something bad. <laughs> I'm too ashamed to talk about it. Oh, don't point at me. I'll tell you if you tell me some of your most epic fails, okay? It'll make me feel better. I don't want to feel alone. All right, I'll start. My friend Cindy invited me to her party. There were lots of people I didn't know. I really wanted to make a good impression. <laughs> that is so like you. I was on the dance floor having a great time. Then the worst. No. I felt my new jeans start to slide on my legs. I started working out a month before. Guess I lost more weight than I thought. <laughs> Oh, haven't you ever heard of a belt? Wait, what? Like, use a shoelace. How did you only realize at the party? You didn't realize on the way to the party? Like... <laughs> yeah, you only realized when you were twerking. And what do you think I did to keep my jeans on? Uh, do I want to know? Took a deep breath and puffed out my stomach. Like, <gasps> use belt loops to make my jeans tight. Okay, that's a good hack. Held my jeans with one hand. Oh, we're guessing what she could have done. Okay, so definitely like taking the loop and putting it over your little button and then doing it up. Like that's actually, a, that's a good hack. It's an actual hack, yeah. I've never done it, but I've seen it done. Does it actually work? Oh, it works and it looks great. Ooh, puffing out my stomach for a long time, way too much effort. And holding my jeans with one hand would be so tiring. Obviously I buttoned my jeans on the belt loop. Ha, <laughs> duh. Okay, that's not that embarrassing. No. Fail averted. Wow, cool. I've never heard of such a thing. Okay, so what happened to me is I bought a beautiful t-shirt. I wanted to wash it as soon as I got home because <laughs> ew, gross germs. And I don't know who tried it on in the store. You know what I mean? Yeah. I went to the bathroom. I started loading the washing machine and suddenly my little brother ran in, my most annoying little brother ever. And he wanted to show me some toy car he got. Like what a loser. Ew. He ran in like a psycho, waving his hands everywhere. Like, sometimes I wonder why my parents decided to have another little sibling. And bam, he high-fived a bottle of bleach right onto my new t-shirt. I couldn't believe it. Ugh, I killed him. Just kidding. But I was shocked. Put him into the washing machine. My brother apologized, but like, whatever, my shirt. Ugh, we thought about it together for a bit. Then I had an idea. Ooh, what's the idea? What do you think we did? <laughs> Wait, this isn't that embarrassing at all, girl. Yeah, she could use even more bleach and make it a tie-dye shirt. Ooh, 100%. Right? Yeah, that's what I do. Plant juice, what are you, a hippie? What? Okay, let's... Yeah, why does that plant have so much juice? That's the juiciest plant I've ever seen. Okay, so they put the plant on the t-shirt, sprayed it with some bleach, made it into a design, Azzy, I feel like we've done this one before. Yeah, we have, and it didn't work. No, it did not look cute at all. <laughs> like, not embarrassing in the slightest. I'm a little bit, like, shook. These people don't know embarrassment. No, they do not. I'm the queen of embarrassment. <laughs> I am an embarrassment. Kate likes Tom. He's such a dream. Oh, Tom. Oh, I love you. <laughs> so gorgeous. It was the first day of their class camping trip. Don't you love camping? Yes, I actually do. Like in a co-ed situation and oh. So much fun. And marshmallows. Oh, the marshmallows that got the annoying guy with the guitar, like perfect. Are they gonna get together? Hmm? Is she gonna make it happen? That evening, they gathered around a fire and played challenges, and suddenly they saw flashing lights in the forest. Oh no, is she trying to hook up with this guy and it just becomes like a story? <gasps> That's gonna be so scary. New challenge! Find the lights and take a selfie if you wanna win my heart. Who is he? Kate took her phone and ran into the forest. Okay, it was actually pretty dark and scary, but she wanted to get some. Oh, she stepped on a wasp's nest. That's not good. Wasps were everywhere. She's not gonna look the same when she comes back to hit on her man. No, and I hope she's not allergic. Should she wave her arms to scare the wasps? Run away as fast as she can, or walk away slowly? I feel like if you wave your hands, you're gonna hit them and make them more angry. Like they're gonna be more threatened by you. I would just run like the wind. I would run away too, but I feel like it's a trick question and we're probably supposed to walk slow. No way, really? Oh, Kate, you're right! Kate should walk away slowly. I don't know why, I just had a feeling. Running and waving your arms is super dangerous. The wasps will get really angry and sting you. Not if I'm the fastest kid alive, Riddles. You are the fastest kid alive. <laughs> Kate walked away very slowly and calmly from the wasps, but suddenly she heard footsteps. She's like, oh, I just want to get laid. What's going on? Someone was following her. Kate got really scared and hid behind a tree, and she looked out. <gasps> she saw a silhouette. <gasps> oh, no. 
Should Kate run away? Or maybe it was just a classmate. I mean, why would anybody else be in the woods? It was probably just one of her friends. It could be, but look, his pants are all ripped up. Oh, true. And he's not wearing shoes. Like, I don't trust this guy. Yeah, anybody who's not wearing shoes is not trustworthy. I feel like if he was sneaking up on her, he wouldn't be stepping on the random branch. Unless he's stupid. Stupid. Unless he's stupid. Good point. Look at the shadow. <gasps> Half of his head is missing! Oh! Yes! It's a zomb, and it was hideous. Yes, that's exactly what I would think if I saw a zombie. I'd be like, oh, so ugly. Is Kate ever gonna get with this guy? Like, I need to know. Yeah, like, where's the love story? Okay, so Kate ran, fell in a hole, made it to a lighthouse. She took a little selfie. The lighthouse keeper turned out to be really cute. He was wearing a turtleneck, so that's how you know you can trust him. He took Kate back to the camp on a secret path. What a good man. I know, a good Samaritan. Oh, and Tom was impressed that he asked Kate out. Oh, but Kate didn't want Tom anymore. Ooh, why? Do you know why? No. What? Kate, what? What? Come on. I guess she like had to come out of a light altering situation and now she's like mm, i'm too good for him now i need to i need to get with some heroes get on my level tom i want you to guess what greg and greta got for their sweet 16. it's in this cake a lady's gonna pop out of the cake oh and she's gonna go happy birthday to you oh it's a brand new robot friend these kids are spoiled really spoiled they're like wonder what it's like living with a robot <laughs> we're so lucky steve came to school with greg and greta and everyone went crazy steve the robot was awesome greg posted a bunch of videos on tiktok mostly pranks Ooh, they use tiktoks yeah they do they threw a ball through a neighbor's okay that is not a prank that is a crime yeah that <laughs> It's vandalism, my friend. I don't approve. The neighbor's upset. And then they ran and hid and posted it on TikTok and got 2 million likes. Yeah, <laughs> they were a big hit at school, committing crimes. Love jail. Yeah, we love jail. But soon the principal found out. He called Greg and the robot Steve into his office. At your age, I was also into pranks. I was, you know, pretty popular. Okay, Mr. Principal, that's fine. Me and my friends used to post on TikTok every day. You're a liar. TikTok is new. No, that is such a lie. And that is such like a fellow kids thing. Okay, boomer. <laughs> We slash tires mostly. Cool, right? Imagine your principal telling you this. No, that is not cool. Slash, slash, slash. Well, you know, until the cops busted us. I was grounded and I was just some loser again. Why are you telling me this? Greg and I were bad, but you're lying. Meep, 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 meep. How did Steve know the principal was lying? TikTok didn't exist. Yeah, TikTok did not exist in 1963. But thank you very, very much. That principal wanted to be lying. Liked, holy. After class, everyone went to the assembly hall. There was a photo contest. Fun. Ooh. Okay, is this robot just a student here now? Apparently. Can it write my exams for me? It should. I mean, it knows when people are lying. <laughs> Greta really wanted to win it this year. Obviously, no Photoshop allowed. So all those weird twisted walls, Greta wasn't allowed to post those. Greg and Steve came to support Greta. They checked out some of the other entries. So no Photoshop's allowed here. We got to keep our eye out. You can't be destroying cities. The jury chose two two finalists, Greta and Emo Man. He's upset. They were about to announce the winner, but Steve saw something and he's a little rat. Oh, Steve is on top of it. One of Carl's photos was photoshopped. When AI takes over. Which one? I mean, the moon wouldn't be down there, would it? I don't even understand what's happening over there. This photo is fake. It's pretty though, he should still win. You can see stars in front of the moon. Have you ever seen a star in front of the moon? I thought it was just sparkles, but I have not seen a star in front of the moon, no. <laughs> Azzy, do you wanna know who keeps you safe at night? Who keeps me safe at night? I thought it was you, Cassie. Well, I thought so too, but it's definitely Max. Oh my God, Max, my hero. Yeah, he keeps the evil creatures at bay, this Max. Oh, what a sweetie. And he's done aren't good at it. Ooh. Yeah, real good at it. He's giving you the eyes. I need to thank this man. Max's friend Rose was found unconscious. Wait, I thought Max keeps people safe. Oh, oh, because he, he only works at night and this happened 24 hours ago at noon. Oh, uh, he was too busy keeping me safe. <laughs> yeah, he was at Azzy's house. He couldn't get to her in time. At nightfall. Oh, Max went to the forest to go whoop some arse. He interrogated some suspects. Hopefully not this guy. Oh, I was in a local cafe. <laughs> I don't know, I can talk. I'm a zombie. They serve the best. 
fried rings. They're delicious. So juicy. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, you know what? You're under arrest. I can't with this guy. I was hiding behind that big mountain. Cookie mountain. Yes. Oh, and there's just a normal guy here. Oh, I was turning into a wolf. See? Full moon. Moon. I was a bat. I slept all day long. Oh, how cute. Look at me. I'm adorable. Who lied? I just don't understand why zombies can talk and go to restaurants and pay for brains. I, I don't trust the guy who's paying for brains. He would just take them for free. I know a zombie when I see a zombie. Oh, the werewolf lied. Why? Because he said he was turning into a werewolf, but this happened at noon. Ooh. Got him. Jenny, you're our best student. In fact, your teacher's pet, I might like you, actually. The school board is coming next week on the 10th. You know how many pranksters we have out there? Look at them being mean. And you've got one week to get them under control. One week! Jenny left the principal's office. Time to start her assignment like the teacher's pet in six inch heels that she is. She walked around the school. Oh no, what's on that wall? Graffiti? Wow, it's actually pretty good though. There was a signature under it, Fred. Jenny had to find Fred and confront him. Why would you sign your signature on a piece of graffiti on the school? I know, you idiot. I just don't believe it. He's too stupid to get detention. <laughs> I feel bad. Give the boy some mercy. Fred, how dare you paint the school property? It wasn't me, it was someone else. Maybe like Ron or Charlie or like anyone that isn't named Fred. Time to solve this mystery. Tell me what you did today. Well, I'm Fred, I had a chemistry test and I tried my best. You know what I mean? Like I wrote down that. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ron. I was so worried about the test that, uh, you know, I forgot my divider. The teacher said that because I forgot it, she'd take off a whole letter grade. Uh, wait. You don't need a divider for chem. No, I don't think so either. All right, this guy's lying. I don't even need to hear it. Just because you forgot your divider, you don't need it for chemistry. Got him! Oh, it's so big. How do you forget that anywhere? It's the size of him. <laughs> the biggest divider I've ever seen. Azzy, when you were in school, could you use your phone in class? I definitely couldn't, actually. Could you? No, no, not at all. Well, not at Lily's school. What do you mean so many important things to do? Oh, on your phone. Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok. Okay, Rills is really talking about TikTok a lot. Yeah. Time for a little sneaking around. Where's she hiding her phone? Okay, are we, are we trying to find it? Yeah. You see a phone around here? I don't know. It's gotta be inside the book. Right? Yeah. Nice. This is a little secret. Put your phone like this. Oh, is this teaching you how to do it? Great example. Great example. Horrible example for the little children's. Hey kids, we know TikTok. Here you go. Why pay attention at school? Just Watch TikTok. Yeah, put your phone in here and pretend you're reading. Oh, my crush. Oh, I love her. Oh, I'm gonna call her up. Hey, I'm so bored. Thought I'd try you. How was your day, sweetie? <laughs> <coughs> Me? <laughs> Superman? <laughs> Thought you'd never ask. Listen to this. It was morning. <laughs> I was getting out of bed, working on my six pack. Oh, I'm just so hot. I slammed down a smoothie like the giga chat I am. I was going to work, jamming out, working on my six pack, walked past a hairdresser, and something was about to go down in there. I'll tell you that much. I saw it right away. Awesome, right? Do you still like me? What's the danger? I am the danger. I mean, I saw it. Oh, I see it. What? Someone's red scoping her. Oh, I was gonna say it's probably like steamy McSteam over here, but yeah, I think that red dot. Some red dot scope, or am I wrong? That hair dryer's on flamethrower setting, but that's not a biggie. That customer just found out some juicy gossip, which is shocking, but uh, this one's <laughs> got a scope on her. Gotta watch out for that. Why? What'd she do? Who is she involved with? Uh, yeah, I don't know. That guy's just, he's a little creep. Azzy, that was a lot of fun. Let's go to your channel and do some more. Riddle! Right, as Yes. Yes. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see me again, make sure you push notifications, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye! Bye.